Maryland investors, you trying to get into the multifamily space? You want some help? Do you want to partner with somebody who knows what they're doing? Do you want to find deals that are cheaper than what you're used to? Probably. Who wouldn't, right? We help you make money and we make it easy. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry world. Welcome to the show. James Wise here. Today's show is from my man Terry. Terry's an investor in Stevensville. And Terry, I know you got like 90 G's and we've been doing a lot of properties. Uh, I think this one is one of the nicest ones I've sent you. It's in an area you really, really like. Uh, I believe you can get this financed, but I know you're having issues with your lender. But dude, if you could try to figure out a way to get your lending situation squared away, I know you got issues with that. Uh, you had that uh, foreclosure in the past, uh, but I know you have other lenders that we've sent you that will do deals with higher down payments, or maybe you do like delayed financing. Moral of the story is I know you're working on your end trying to get your financing squared away. What I've done for you here today, brother, is I've showed you this probably might be one of the best properties I've sent to you, right? So if there's ever a time for you to make your first move, it's now, it's today, it's with this property. Let's take a look. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. Now, I want to show you guys this multi-deal that is really tickling my, uh, tickling my feather. I don't know. Get my beak wet. I'm trying to think of other cool phrases to say. I don't have any. If you have some, put them in the comments. That'd be cool. But uh, tickling my fancy? I don't know why I'm, I'm stuck on tickling right now. It's getting weird. Anywho, we should probably go back to real estate before an adult man continues to speak to an audience of mostly adult men. It's true. Like 88% of our viewership on Holton Wise TV is adult men. I, I, I review the analytics quite often, folks. So I can tell you with utmost confidence that 88% of the people watching this are also adult men, wondering why this adult man is going on a tickling rampage. I am not going to say tickling again. Anywho, the address of this multifamily property, 156 Stanford Ave, Elyria, Ohio. Hit the market 14 days ago, but that is misleading, okay? It hit the market, and then it immediately got bought, bought, right, put under contract with another buyer, and then they backed out. Don't worry. It's irrelevant why they backed out, folks. People back out on these investment deals all the time. I know I get a lot of new real estate investors. The first question, they're like, oh, they backed out. Why did they back out? Oh, my God, why did they back out? Is that a red flag? Is this a horrible deal? Oh, my God, it's going to explode. Calm yourself, folks. Don't make me jump through the phone and start tickling your armpits. Ah, I did it again. Anyway, look, people back out all the time. It happens, okay? The reason that why they backed out is irrelevant. In real estate, we trust but verify, okay? Could they have backed out for a legitimate reason? Maybe the house is a crazy structural issue. Maybe, unlikely. What's more likely is they flaked, but it doesn't matter because we're going to do our own due diligence. They are irrelevant. When we make our offer, it'll be contingent on inspection. And if there is a red flag, we will uncover it and address the situation as that goes, right? But this deal, this is a banger. I love this. So don't think, oh, 14 days, we could lowball these people. No, 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 no. They're asking 149.9. We got to bid at least 150. That's the minimum we got to bid. I honestly think you might want to go a little higher. I will leave that to you. You tell me how much you're comfortable. But we got to take this sucker down, right? The market, O'Leary, Ohio, folks. I take y'all and I take you to the best cash flow markets in the USA. That's what I do. Live where you want. Invest where it makes sense. This place, it's in Lorain County, Ohio. It's about a half hour away from Cleveland. Cleveland's one of the best cash flow markets. This particular municipality, this county, they're getting two new naval bases this year. That's going to be like three or 4,000 new jobs, number one. Number two, the city of Cleveland, where a lot of investors 
from a national scale, right? People like you looking to go out of state for the cash flow markets. You guys flood the city of Cleveland because that's the most well-known one. Leaving big, big cash flow just a half hour west that a lot of people aren't paying attention to, right? In addition, I think the government in Lorain County, much more landlord friendly than in Cleveland. Hell, in Cleveland right now, they just, uh, they're putting out these new lead-based paint laws and uh, it's a little... It's crazy, honestly. Like, I'm not saying, folks, you could never invest in Cleveland again because of these lead-based paint laws, but it's a brand new thing, and it's, like, rolled out, and there's been a lot of mess, and the whole thing's just a disaster at the moment. As a matter of fact, I just did a half-hour-long video explaining that process. I'll link it in the video here uh, below. So after you watch this show, check that out, right? So when you invest in Illyria, you don't have to deal with that because I think things – in the city of Cleveland itself, where a lot of people are thinking about when they think of this area, Northeast Ohio, I think they're going to be pretty pretty messy, pretty scary for probably the next 18 months, right? I am taking a, whoa, let's wait and see what goes on, how this all transpires approach, right? Because there's a lot of confusion with how these new laws work. So you're going to need to check out that video. After you check out that video, you'll be like, dang, Jay Wise, you are right. This really is a screamer of a deal, right? And what this is is a duplex and in this market, the Cleveland market, right? Cleveland market, not necessarily the city of Cleveland, the Cleveland market, folks. Cleveland market, when I refer to the Cleveland market, we're talking about a population of like 5 million people, 4 or 5 million, somewhere in there. I should really Google that so I can give you guys the exact number. But you know what? Why? Why? Because you know what? I don't know when you're watching this episode, right? This episode, you could be watching this in 2022. You could be watching it in 2027. You could be watching this bitch in 2029, 20. 107 on your freaking hovercraft. I don't know. I don't know what the exact population will be at the time you watch this, but right now it's like four to five milli, and only about 350K of those live in the city of Cleveland, right? So big picture, big picture in the greater scheme of the market, 90, like 5% of the duplexes are up, down. So there'd be like an apartment up here and then another apartment here. This is a side-by-side, -side, right? So it's like split down the middle, okay? One house here, one house here. These are way better. Only like 5% of the multifamilies we have in this market are built like this. Whenever you get the opportunity to buy one of these, you have to. They're amazing. They are so much better than the up-downs, right? Why? Tenants don't fight as much, okay? The noise doesn't travel as much. They have multiple floors. It feels more like a single-family home, okay? And this thing is already renovated. It looks freaking mint, dude. I don't think we need to do anything, right? Heck, you even got this bonus space attic for each of them. By the way, it'd be cost prohibitive to add another bedroom. You wouldn't get a return on it, so don't even ask. But what I'm trying to tell you guys is if you get the opportunity to buy a side-by-side, -side, you absolutely need to jump on it, especially a turnkey one like this, dude. You're going to get higher rents. More importantly than the higher rents, you're going to get tenants that stay much longer, right? Uh, these are the bee's knees, man. I love this. One unit is 3-1. The other is a 2-1, right? So we're looking at a $1,700 a month rent roll. It's $20,400 for the year. Now, you don't get to keep that, folks. That's why people invest with Holton Wise because they break it down to you honestly, right? After factoring in fixed and variable expense estimates, assuming my team handles the on-the-ground work for you, right? It don't matter if you live in Portland. It don't matter if you live in L.A. It don't matter if you live in New York City. Live where you want. Invest where it makes sense. My team handles the on-the-ground work, and I believe your level of performance should look at a clear NOI of around nine grand a year after factoring in all you got to pay us to handle the thing so it's completely passive for you, right? You only put down 37 and a half, bank kicks in the other 112 and a half. That is just shy of a 10% cash on cash return. In all honesty, it might even perform better than that, right? Because back to the other chart. I have you keeping back 1020 for repairs and maintenance, 1020 for vacancy and non-payment, 1020 for CapEx. That's actually that's like three grand every year. When things go good, that goes right into your pocket. I'm just not letting you consider that as cash flow. It still goes to you, right? You don't pay. You don't not get. You don't like have to factor in the vacancy if you have two tenants in there, right? You don't have to factor in capex if you're not doing capex. But I have you guys add that in to think about it because, like, this property, the roof, it's like a eight ten thousand dollar roof. You only got to do the roof once every thirty years, right? So I'm having you like average out the cost, right? Because like, if it's like the roof's due in one year, you're spending ten k. So that's what you're like. 
uh, you're aggregating that stuff out. That's why I have you guys do that. But the fact that this is has a three bedroom unit, number one, number two, it's the beautiful side by side layout. Your your vacancy in uh, non payment, it's probably going to be lower than we see on average, right? Because most of the duplexes we deal with are the up downs, and tenants turn over much more frequently in those, right? You always got the guy upstairs like, ah, oh, the guy downstairs making noise. Ah, oh, the guy upstairs making noise. It's a whole big issue, right? These these things perform. I really dig this deal. Nice, safe, solid investment, right? So I think you got to spend at least 150. I would not have an issue with you going 155, maybe even 160 to make sure you lock this thing up because it's rare. It's going to move quick and I think it's going to be a heck of an earner for the long haul. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.